I'm on mayonnaise. I ain't got seven fifty to pay. Charlie Bartlett. Yeah, for, uh, for all you nerds out there, you want to be cool in school? Just sell drugs. Well, that worked for me. No, it did? <laughs> well, he sold drugs, but he never got cool. What, were you selling Flintstones vitamins? There's a few things about high school movies that bug the shit out of me. In these kind of movies, you don't see the faculty anywhere. It's one person running the whole school. In this case, it's Robert Downey Jr., who's good in the movie, but has no control over this school. Goddamn, uh, Iron Man can't control the school. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. <laughs> you kids in this school, they're getting up and like, Sir, this is bullshit! And I... We couldn't even say bull corn. Charlie Bartlett goes to, it's not exactly a ghetto rough school. No, it's not. It's a public school. I mean, he used to go to a private school, and he got kicked out of private school. And he just wants to be popular. And he ain't stupid, so he usually figures out a way to do it. And guess what? This is high school, so usually it involves doing something he's not supposed to be doing. Comes to this new school, and, you know, right off the bat, people are beating him up. And he's like, well, this won't stand. <laughs> yes, yeah, so he becomes a drug dealer. But not selling the drugs, you know, that on the streets. He's selling prescription drugs. And on top of that, not only is he selling prescription drugs, but he's offering psychiatric advice. It's kind of like when Charlie brown sits down with lucy yeah you know, he's, he's in the bathroom <laughs> talking you know and and uh he's giving advice and then when he's done he's like you know something i think you need to be on prozac that'll be 60 bucks to take two of these so he's actually a drug dealer that cares yeah you know you don't get that kind of counseling with your street drug dealer you hell know? you don't get that kind of counseling with your hmo i'm not saying that i'm gay what if you know i'm not attracted to girls you know this sucks man well at least you're attracted to somebody Everybody loves him, and it turns into basically a Ferris Bueller's Day Off type movie. Which is weird and kind of awkward when you think, you know, dude is dealing illicit drugs to high school kids. See, back in my day, you had to be cool. Old school. You had to actually be cool. No, back in his day, to be cool, you had to make sure that your mule was all tricked up. <laughs> mule, more like Velociraptor. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Anyway, Charlie Bartlett, boy, let me tell you. It was endearing in some parts. It was kind of fun. It's entertaining. It's a type of movie that doesn't push itself far enough to be a true satire of high school but because these kids are doing drugs and selling drugs they can't be that tame they need to be more satirical they need to push it a little bit further and they don't you know i'm gonna give it a rental see this for me is definitely a matinee and a high one actually i i have the same problems with it you did i just thought that the things about it that did work worked so well that it carried me through those awkward moments man ain't like it was when we were in high school you can't go to the high school these days without some kid like having sex with his teacher yeah or shooting somebody let me tell you something i would be willing to take a bullet for a piece of ass anytime. How many times have you almost taken a bullet for some ass trying to climb out the bedroom window when the guy's coming home? That's why I wear a bulletproof drawers when I go to somebody's house now.